Hello, Monsterbound here. I was just listening to the song Everybody Was Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas, and I have some issues with it, which I will now go into. I don't believe that literally everyone was Kung Fu Fighting. I think it's incredibly presumptuous to assume that everyone in the fight was using Kung Fu. For a start, maybe some people were kickboxing or boxing, or had just smashed a beer bottle and started swinging. And of course, you're assuming that everyone wanted to jump in. What about those people that were just passing by and decided not to get involved because they were otherwise busy, had little to no martial art experience, or just weren't sure why the fighting had started in the first place and needed more background information before picking a side? Personally, I feel the song should have said some people are kung fu fighting, others are not. Although, to be fair, that would be harder to fit into a song, but it's not my area to write music. Just to carefully explain to people why their lyrics are bollocks. However, I do have to concede that it is indeed would have been a tad unnerving to watch this brawl unfold, no matter how good the kids were at beating each other senseless. Next episode, I'll be tackling Outcast's Hey Ya and explaining why shaking a Polaroid picture for that long is not really required and could be a leading cause of repetitive strain injury. Welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part 34 of... Good. Thank, thanks, thanks for that, Sun Sir. 34 of my campaign, formerly known as the Martun campaign, is because the Sun Sir is, is, is poking his little face through the mountains there. He's trying to clamber over, but he can't make it. Bless his little socks. No, he, he's stuffed. Um, and we're going to see if we can ambush him as well. So that should be fun. I, we, we might get spotted. We might get spotted, but I think it'll be okay. Maybe. Not sure. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Should be fun. Um, but I think if we can kill Sun Sir, then I can, def I can definitely then kill Sun Xuan. Um, should I do that now? Should I maybe kill him? Okay, so let's have a look. So we got... Did I already do it? Did I already kill... Uh, I, I forgot. It's been, it's been a little while since I've played uh, this one. So did I kill Sun Xuan? No, I didn't. But we don't have the... Right. Kings of Wu, Shu Han. Right. Okay, so what we need to do is I need to build up my cover. Um, so, if I can wait a little bit, we, we should be able to then assassinate the Sun Xuan. So we can kill Sun Tzu, then we can assassinate Sun Xuan, or kill him in battle, whatever comes first, and uh, we can really start whittling down that Sun family, can't we? I mean, to be fair, in... in in the Three Kingdom book, they they did all end. I mean, Sun Jian never made it back from from the campaign with the coalition. He died. Um, Sun Tzu got jumped by. I think he like insulted or or executed someone. And no way. Was it? Did he get? I'm trying to remember. Was it Sun Tzu who got? I know one of them, it was either Sun Shui or Sun Sir who, like, um, insulted some mystic man, had him executed, and then basically went fucking nuts. Um, like, seeing him on top of, like, a temple and stuff, and just basically just being a bit weird. His, his mother was worried about him, so sent him to the temple to, like, pray for forgiveness. He saw, like, the ghost of this sage man that he'd executed, so burned down the temple. And I can't help but feel like his mum probably... He came back and his mum went, how was the temple? And he went, fine, fine. It was with, with smoke rising off him because he'd, like, just trashed the entire place. A little bit of overreaction there, but that's fine. Um, but we're going to see if we can kill Sun Tzu. I'm going to have to read the books again because I, I, it's been it's been months since I read it and I can't... There's so many characters, that's the problem. Um, but without further ado, I don't think we've got anyone else to move. I think we can just end the turn. I have gone through and done a little bit of building here and there and we've got them... Oh, shit. What happened there? Oh, did they sack the town? They sacked the town. Okay, fine. Okay, we've ambushed... Well, we've successfully ambushed some... Um, some Shuhan forces. So let's let's fight at night for the atmosphere. Um, they do have a trebuchet, so we need to deal with that. But that should be okay. And uh, we should be able to wipe this army out, to be honest. Although people have said that it's quite dark for the fighting, so maybe I'll leave it a day. I don't need the morale. Like, it's not a big deal. Um, they won't get reinforcements anyway, because we're ambushing, so... Maybe fight a day? Just, just for a change? Change of pace? Sure.
I don't know if fire arrows do any more damage to trebuchets than normal arrows, but... Well, certainly seems to have done the job anyway. So knocked out the trebuchets first. That's first order of business. Pang De is charged right into the middle of the enemy, as per usual, and he's just murdering everyone. So that's that. Uh, I do have some mods now. Well, a mod. The camera mod, which means we can get up and close and personal with some of these boys now. Uh, looking pretty good. That guy's got an arrow to the face. Nice. I love CA, don't get me wrong. Love them to bits. They give me free stuff. I can't argue with that. But I do wish they'd maybe, like, not dick the camera up every single game and require a mod to go and actually unlock the bloody thing, because, like, come on, guys. It's pretty much the first mod I always download is a camera mod. So we're just railing fire down the protectors of heaven. That's looking pretty good. We do have a couple of strategists here that are locking down our abilities. So we can't do any hamstring abilities. We've got this stifling deluge bollocks. Our cavalry's running around and we've got a unit of protectors of heaven there. They're trying to brace for impact, but they're not going to brace for impact soon enough. And then out of the trees, more cavalry. Oh dear, not a good day to be one of these guys. Reinforcements are arriving piecemeal, but any protectors of heaven that start heading towards us come under heavy crossbow and arrow uh, assaults. So we're just going to, because I like charging these guys is possible, but you need multiple units of cavalry. So it's easy just to shoot them, especially with crossbows who are armor piercing. I mean, I, I like the archers because the fire arrows, but uh, you can't argue with the crossbows for the old armor piercing, can you? So cavalry is mopping up here in the distance. We can see that uh, we're raining trebuchet fire down on any units that look quite tasty and packed together. These spears, we're just raining fire down on them because uh, spears are bad for our cavalry. The cavalry can pretty much deal with everything else apart from these spear units. So we're going to just mop those up with our archers. And then we're going to bring our cavalry in to finish off. So we have actually got some units that have managed to reach our line. We've got a little blob of infantry, including the enemy uh, vanguard, Tong Ping. There he is. Tong Ping causing us some issues, but that's fine. Archer fire raining down on those spears. And once the spears are done, uh, the swordsmen, based, yeah, the, the saving militia here. I mean, they're, they're no, no, no chance. Pang De just running people through. Look at that, he's on his... Uh, what's the, what horse has he got? He's got brown elites. Holy shit. Chopping people down. The cavalry have just hit this enemy blob right in the flank. Taking them down nice and easy. The enemy general is there, causing us a little bit of problem, but generally not too bad. Should be able to easily finish. As you can see, he's starting to waver anyway. The enemy army is breaking... They've had enough. Can't blame them, really. They've got absolutely trounced. Stand fast. Stop. That was a good win. Look at that. The people's voice cannot be silent. We lost 87 men compared to their, well, lots. Who we got? You are, you're greedy, you're superstitious, and cunning. You are garbage. I'm half tempted just to execute you. Um, you're level four. Uh, yeah, why not? We should not waste resources on imprisoning them. Exactly. And I'm going to take they the cash. Thanks. Belief. See you later. Okay, I want to see if Sun Tzu tries to make a run for it. Because I am very excited to kill Sun Tzu. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, stuff going on there. Stuff going on. Where's Sun Tzu going? Because if he doesn't run, we should be able to catch him unless the AI does that dickish thing of assuming that, like, it can retreat around a mountain and go further than it could have ever moved when you attack it. I don't think it should be able to, but... I'm just not sure. Taking that capital is going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Jesus. How many armies have they got? How many bloody armies have they got? I mean, it does make it very safe. I mean, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to sneak an army in there and just grab the capital and, like, boom, done. So, it's actually not a bad idea. It's still annoying. Sun Tzu did not try to run away. Okay. Go towards the Han Empire. Fine. Request for independence. One of your administrators seeks to... Oh. 
Go to what? What? Uh, the request to form to own. Uh, continue to serve his loyal. St go to go what? 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 No. No. What? What? What are you? What are you doing? Are you level eight? Is that? Okay, you're denied independence, but you're still pretty happy. You're a senior advisor. I can probably like give you some more cash. If that'll cheer you up. Uh, campaign movement range when moving, not a big deal. Income from industry, uh, which you are Jin Cheng. Which, the f which one's Jin Cheng? I've forgotten. Um, not Wudu, Jin Cheng. Ah, no. Is it one over here? Where is Jin? Oh, there it is. I saw Silk Trader. Right. So we're not making any money from industry here. So, not really worth that. So what we can do, though, is get... Uh, so we can go for this one. Uh, that's going to give us more more reduced corruption, more income, which is good. Which is going to be nice, so we'll do that. So, no industry for you, because we don't care. Plus five food production. I mean, it's not bad. Guerrilla deployment, chance of ambushing. Well, I do like ambushing people. Chance of avoiding ambushing. Nah, the, okay, we're going to go Guile. We're going to go Guile. That's going to give him 174. Let's give him a raise as well, just to keep him sweet, because he is our best advisor. So I probably, to be fair, should have made him Prime Minister, but, you know, whatever. Okay, Sun so, Sir, right. If we attack you, we can't actually attack you. You've, you've literally... We can lay an ambush right in front of you. You've literally turned to look at us and we're like... Hiding behind a tree. Just like sidle behind a tree. Okay, fine. So we can uh, we can lay a little ambush and hopefully catch him next turn. I quite like Pangder being here. So we're going to leave him there. There are a couple of... Uh, these are way armies, aren't they? So that's not a big deal. Who are... Not you again. Yeah, it's me again. Are you like... Okay, your shoe. Okay, you are. No, am I? I'm not. I'm not at war with you, am I? I'm not at war with South. So I'm not at war with you. I mean, you don't like me, but you're not at war with me. Okay, good, good. So for the moment, we can ignore that. How are we best going? I'm gonna piss. I'm like, I'm gonna piss South South off, aren't I? I have important things to do. We've all got important things to do, mate. Uh, military access. Yeah, you're not going to give that to me, are you? Well, the thing is, Sao Sao, I don't actually give a flying toss how you feel. Like, I'm just going to trespass across your lands and basically just stick two fingers up to you. That's basically what I'm going to do. Suck a dick, Sao Sao. Lovely. Right, what else we got? Uh, Markong, path blocked. That's fine. Really? Path blocked? Clarity shines the path to peace. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go away, shoot. Standard stance. No, for some reason. Okay, well, I, I was wondering if maybe we could attack, but I'm definitely. I'm sure it said two turns required. So that's okay. Let's get Jinjiang over to Taishan. I mean, we've got the trebuchets. We could do a night fight. We could do this with basically. I, I reckon we can do this with losing no one. And I reckon I can take it now. And considering I don't know where Kong Rong's armies are, taking the settlement now is way better than being jumped from the fog of war by some army. So I think grabbing this settlement now, I am going to have to fight it because I don't want to lose, you know, 1,500 troops just from attacking a settlement. So we're going to fight it, but it's not going to be a tricky fight. So like the garrison's not going to go down without a fight. As they charge out of the city. Now, unfortunately, my trebuchets seem to be taking a while to fire. And also, they seem to be shit shots because they managed to miss all of... Look, there's a massive big blob of exploding humanity there and they missed every single fucking shot. How absolutely traumatic is that? I think they managed to kill one guy. Two guys. They killed two guys. 
but still, what, what a shit. So here we go, we've got some archers, we've got some Sabre Militia. And we're going to open fire on the Sabre Militia as they advance, using the trebuchets and our archers. Good stuff. We're going to get uh, Jing Zhang in here as well, but I kind of forget that there are towers. Bit of a problem. A is being but she's going to murder quite a few people. But as you can see, uh, we're getting shot by all of the towers. So basically we've got four towers shooting at Jing Zhang and only Jing Zhang because that's all this. So who is she a rival with? Is she a rival with her own side? Zhang Liao, are you a rival? No. May Ho... Why? Uh, stop pissing her off. Okay, so we're going to leg it because we're getting hit by arrows all over the place and uh, basically taking quite a lot of damage. She did manage to kill 22 people, which is fine. Uh, there are some enemy... Uh, some archers just hanging back and raining fire down on us and that's a bit upsetting. To be honest, this would have been a lot easier if they just sat where they should and I could have pelted them with trebuchet shots until they all broke, but... Some things are not meant to be. So we're going to move our cavalry in. It's a bit of a weird army, this one, but uh, it kind of works. And we charge. Nice little charge there as well. These marauders then going to flank around. Get a nice little charge in the flank. Lovely. And then get hit by our own trebuchets, as is tradition. So, same militia going down here. We've got some archers still firing on us. We need to deal with those ASAP, but the rest of the army has run away. We just need to concentrate our fire. The... Oh, for fucks... Go right, that was better. The other shots... What the hell was that? That was rubbish. Complete garbage. Honestly, you should have, been, you should have wiped this unit out. This unit should have been like a smear on the ground. Right, better this time? Right, that, that's what I'm talking about. I want to see lots of people screaming. I want to see people on fire. I want to see guts. I want to see blood. That's what we want. None of that missing bollocks. Jesus. There we go. The enemy army is broken and running. And we didn't really use too many people doing it. Okay, a strange battle, but casualties were pretty light. Certainly a lot lighter than it would have been had we actually fought it. It would be a shame not to take it. It would, wouldn't it? It Call would be me, a crying shame. Okay, so we've taken Taishan. We're going to take the city as well. When can we what take that? We can take that next turn. Which is fine. And now we've kind of got some protections because Beihai here could... Like, I mean, I, I haven't seen any armies from... Kong wrong, so I don't know where his armies are. A little bit of a concern. Not seen them at Dong either. We could actually go and grab Dong, couldn't we? China is people, not its oppressive warlords. Go and grab Dong. Go and take Hooray! grab the Dong in two hands. As they say. Am I at war with you? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it is you. It is. You're not at war with anyone, right? We're not at war with you. That's good. We're not at war with Lady Feng at the moment, I don't think. Uh, we do have Lu Yang here, which has a lumber yard, so we need to take that. We need to take the copper mine over here as well. So there's stuff we need to be doing. We do have Lu Men Cheng here, so we can actually go and grab. Conserve energy. Mirror Yellow Turn? What the fuck? What are you doing? Be still to conserve what the... spirit. What, are you... what? Go away. Go on. piss off. Don't rob, don't right, Jesus. Careful planning ensured victory. Yeah, I mean, he chopped his head off as well, so that that's the thing. The okay, tick, done. Job done, nice. Uh, do we have anyone else we have yet to move? Persevere. So, you are in ambush, that's fine. You are doing that. Right, we haven't moved uh, Mayu Sheng, my psychotic son, or this guy. So... I did. There is an army around here somewhere, so we do need to deal with that. Uh, there is a temple down here as well. I'm tempted just to sort of scooch you down here. And maybe try and ambush? Like, the mountains here are quite good at funneling. 
So if we can maybe just try and draw out, draw out some of the willow, those appear to be yellow turbans. So I'm going to just, you know what? Do I want to do that? You've got a skill point. What do we want? Vengeance. It kind of sounds about right. Earthen ramparts. Everyone likes an earthen rampart. Uh, battle running speed. Well, you know, take it or leave it. Cunning. You don't really need cunning, do you? I mean, the charge resistance is quite nice. I mean, I mean the more damage, though, that kind of feels that kind of feels good, doesn't it? So I think we'll do that. I'm tempted to like, give you someone a bit. Uh, right. So you currently just do wedge things, don't you? That would give you more campaign movement range. That would give us more reserves faction-wide, but to be honest, reserves, although I like the idea of reserves, they're not actually that useful. Plus five cover for enemy spies. I think let's go for the Overseer, because that's going to give us more campaign movement range and speed. So let's do that. I'm tempted to just knock out this Yellow Turban army, but what I might do is just leave him there. Um, so pushing in that direction, pushing in that direction, that's all good. Anyone who hasn't moved. You haven't, but you're replenishing. Slowly. I am at one again. But we are getting there. Three turns, jeez. It's going to take a while, isn't it? And then we've Caution. got Dao's Sun Huan down here, who we are sort of using as a defence measure against the south so we're gonna pop you over here you marched i forgot to move you normally but that's okay i think everyone else is good so we're gonna end the turn got a lot of armies to manage a lot of you know pushing people around it's making sure they do stuff oh we got ah oh, sun sir has blundered into our ambush and of course because we're, he's probably going to escape isn't he but because he is sun sir we are going to uh, obviously kill him. Fire upon them. <laughs> so let's deal with Sun Sir. Now he doesn't want to duel because he's a chicken. Where is he? There he is. He's just trotting towards us. Look at this. What horse has he got? Heavenly Fire. Oh. There we go. So, Ma Kong and his buddy, Zhao Ji, are going to try and jump Sun Tzu because he won't duel like a man. Instead, he's going to just get wailed on like a idiot. Anyway, so our archers concentrating missile fire on one unit after another. There are a couple of enemy generals there, but they should not be too difficult to deal with. We won't be able to catch a Sun Tzu because he is a faction leader and he's pretty tricky to capture, but he is taking an absolute beating there. Look at he's running away. He's had enough. He's like, no, don't like it anymore. No, you won't. You're running away, you big girl's blouse. Look at him go. Honest to God. Our cavalry's hiding in the trees, just waiting. We're concentrating some of our fire on the enemy generals and on the saved militia. I'm not too concerned, though, because they will be running directly into our G militia. So that won't work out very well for them. The enemy general falls. Well, one's down. Sun Tzu is... Is smash. He's, he's doing okay for himself, actually. He's doing okay for himself. For some reason, I know some of the generals have this sort of weird hazy effect on them. And I don't know why. Bit weird. Okay, so taking some hits. Taking some hits. Sun Tzu, he's down to 5.5k health. He's legging it. He's trying to get away. Get him. He's, he's running. Markong, come on. Ah, oh, Markong cuts him down. He's down. At least his horse didn't fall on him, so that's something. But he is lying in a big puddle of mud, so unfortunate for him there. Our cavalry has charged in, as is tradition, and it's just wiping out everyone, uh, all the stragglers, basically. Lovely little charge there, just ripping apart this saved militia unit. They're down. The rest of the army is gone. Sun Sir is down. 
easy. Ooh. Well, those who do not bend to authority died on the mountain. It's probably not dead. Let's just ransom. I imagine that he he's just probably gone back into the into the recruitment pool. Oh, the fuck is this? Who's this? Where'd they come from? Um, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? What have they got? Uh, a couple of those. Protectors of Heaven. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I, you know what? I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna pull back because I just don't know what's going on there and I can't see properly because the mountain's in the way. So I'm guessing an army has just rushed out of nowhere. But... Where the fuck's it gone then? Weird. Okay, have to have a look. have a look at that in a minute and find out what the hell's going on. Okay, they're letting siege to that, which is okay. You joined their war, which is, to be honest, I'm surprised you haven't already. Zhang Ba is fiery. There you go. And we've got a foreman. It's nice. It's nice to have a little foreman. Right, where? What? Right, what the fuck was going on down here? I cannot. Right, you're down. Right, we retreated. So. I refuse. What? No. Like, I'm not being mental, am I? If there was no army nearby... Not possible. It was Kingdom of Wu. Where the fuck did they come from? Meditate on peace. Are they ambushing? Is that maybe what they're doing? It's the only thing I can think of. There's an army down here that's ambushing. Because that's the army we killed. That's Sun Tzu's army. And uh, he's now... doing whatever. Oh, well, Mark Kong, what can we give you? Uh, enables ignore forest penalty, which sounds quite good. Battle running speed seems okay. Ah, replenishment, that sounds pretty good. I'm, Yeah, let's go for a flexibility. Let's make sure you're all flexible. Yes. I'm, I'm suspecting there's probably an ambush going on here somewhere. So, ah, yes, there we go. There we go. Found them. Is that a problem? Nah, because we've healed up a little bit. I'm feeling a lot better about this. I was a little bit concerned because some of our characters were wounded, but they've had a turn to heal up. Actually, this is fine. But it wasn't. They don't have much cavalry, which was my main concern. So, actually, not an issue. Probably should have wandered into the ambush, but how else was I going to find it? Anyway, so there we are. We've got an ambush going on, but that's going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of the campaign formerly known as the Martung campaign.